Hello and welcome to Big Boar Knife and Gear. Today we are going to be talking about a SOG. This one happens to be the SOG Fat Cat. So let's uh, get this sucker open and go over some specs before we uh, dive into this knife. So we've got an overall length on this guy of uh, 10 and an eighth inches. Got a blade length of four and a half inches, uh, blade thickness of 0 0.160 inches. Blade steel on this is VG10, uh, drop point style blade with a hollow ground, uh, a hollow grind to it. Jesus can't talk. Uh, titanium frame with the rubberized craton inserts. Lock style on this is uh, access or what they call arc lock, uh, basically a big access lock. Uh, and this bad boy is coming in at a whopping eight and a half ounces. All right. So this knife is on loan to me from my buddy Kyle, uh, Kyle J. Lanfer. This knife, let's get a couple things out of the way. When this was available and new, this is no longer uh, in production. You could get this knife for anywhere from 290 to 400 bucks new when it was available. Right now on the secondary market in eBay, I've seen these things, they're going anywhere from 415 to $900. So with that said, let's get into this uh, review. This is going to be a first for me, folks. Um, I like to tell things how it is in my opinion. I've had tons of knives throughout my life. I've done tons of reviews and out of all these reviews there might have been two or three knives that for me weren't up to par. Uh, with that said, and I'm going to try to say this as politically correct as I can, this right here This very expensive titanium frame knife has got to be the biggest pile of crap <laughs> I've ever had in my hands. Let's get into this. The titanium is done decently. Uh, the rubberized craton inserts do give you a pretty good grip. Uh, no pocket clip. This thing actually comes with, uh, with a nylon sheath, uh, sheath to carry. Their arc lock or access lock. Um, let, let me just start this right here. If 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 this will catch, pick up is god awful and crappy. For this knife to be this amount of money, let me see if we can pick this up. It has. An eighth of an inch of, of blade play this way, and I, I know you guys can hear that. At least an eighth of an inch of blade play this way. Uh, I, 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 I honestly, I, I don't know how to review this. I mean, look, look. Can you hear that? I don't know if this one was the exception to the rule, or if all of them are like this, but good God, it's horrible. The arc lock, as they call it, functions. I mean, it will come down. Do you hear that? <laughs> there is so much play in every aspect of this knife. That I, if I was to have bought this knife and it showed up and I paid that much money for it, I, I'd be one pissed off person. Such a shame. SOG, way back in the day, used to be really good. In my opinion, they went to crap. Uh, they came out with the XR line on a couple of models, which to me is probably the only saving grace for SOG because those those 
a couple few models of, of the XRs are actually decent, good, well-made knives, and everything else so far has just been total crap. <sighs> All right, let's get into the, the blade. It does have this very nice drop point style. Bill bouldering on there. There you see Sog. You see Fat Cat. You see Fat Cat across here. Oh, hit the camera. Sorry, guys. You see the VG10 and then uh, from Seiki Japan. <sighs> totally disappointing. Uh, ergos wise, let's get that out of the way. Ergonomics, not too bad. It actually feels fairly decent in hand. It is a huge knife. You have room to choke back, choke up. The uh, finger toils on the handle actually do fall for me right in line with fingers, no matter where I'm holding it. The jimping up here uh, on the scales actually works very well. It actually works a lot better than the jimping on the slight thumb ramp on here, which in normal grip, your thumb isn't nowhere even close to that. So I guess if you're choked back, you get decent jimping here. Normal grip, you get no jimping at all. This was kind of useless, pointless. I will say this, the action on it's pretty smooth, but I think that has to do with the uh, horrible amount of blade play in there. <laughs> Ah, you can't see what I'm doing right now, but I'm literally shaking my head behind the camera. I am just so disappointed, and this isn't even my knife. <laughs> this belongs to my buddy Kyle, and I, I'm sorry, Kyle, you paid for this. You paid money for this, brother. I, God, I can't tell you how mad I would have been if this showed up and I actually paid money for this. Anyhow, blade, blade, very nice, super sharp, super slicey. Does have a pretty good hollow grind to it. Does have that little bit of recurve on the belly. Nice little swedge towards the tip there. Aesthetically, it does look very nice on the blade. Here's another issue too before I forget. I actually had to double check and do some fact checking on the scale material. It is titanium, it is non-magnetic, but I honestly thought this was. You hear that? It looks so weird and it sounded to me almost like it was chrome plated plastic. It really honestly shocked me that it was titanium. <laughs> Anyhow, I've I've gone on now eight and a half minutes. I I I really don't want to talk about this knife anymore. It's so disappointing. Oh my god. So disappointing. Anyhow. That's all I have for today, folks. Please like, subscribe, leave me a comment because I love the feedback. And until next time, take care.